In this demonstration, we are going to look at how to calculate the break-even point in number of units of product for any given company. So if we look at our example problem, we see that the income statement for Nylon Company for 2010 appears below. Nylon sold 40,000 units of product for a total of a million dollars in sales. They had total variable expenses of $700,000 and total contribution margin of $300,000 versus fixed costs of $345,000 and a net loss of $45,000. So the first thing we're going to do is determine the break-even point uh, in number of units sold for Nylon Company. The first thing we want to do there is to go ahead and put our contribution margin income statement into a per unit format as well, just to make our calculations a little easier. So sales of a million dollars for 40,000 units means that each unit must be selling for $25, a million dollars divided by the 40,000. We also know that our variable cost per unit must be the 700,000 in total variable cost divided by those same 40,000 units. That's 1750. So our contribution margin per unit is the difference between those two or $7.50. We don't typically display fixed cost per unit or net income or loss per unit, so we'll stop right there. To determine our break-even point in number of units sold, we need to take the fixed cost, 345000 divided by that contribution margin per unit of product. That tells us that Nylon needs to sell 46,000 units to break even. This makes some immediate sense as they had a net loss at a sales level of 40,000 units. Keep in mind that our contribution margin per unit is the amount that each unit sold contributes toward covering fixed costs and generating a profit. We can also do a similar calculation to determine break-even point in terms of sales dollars. The manner in which we do that is to determine our contribution margin ratio and base our break-even point calculation on that. So our contribution margin ratio can be quickly found by dividing our contribution margin divided by our sales. So if we look back up here for a second, we see that our contribution margin of $7.50 per unit divided by our sales price of $25 per unit gives us a contribution margin ratio of 30%. So our break-even point in sales dollars is our fixed cost, $345,000, divided by that 30% contribution margin ratio, or $1,150,000. We can do similar calculations to determine what level of sales we need to achieve to reach a certain target profit. So let's, for illustrative purposes, assume that our target profit is $30,000. In order to determine the number of units we need to sell to reach that point, we lean on our break-even calculation from a minute ago. This time, however, we take our fixed costs and add the target profit amount and then divide that sum by our contribution margin per unit. We treat that target profit basically as another fixed cost to cover. So in this case, in order to reach a target profit of $30,000, Nylon Company needs to sell 50,000 units. 